Hi, I'm Connor McClendon, and welcome to this proposal. And also hamped up. Y'all ready for this? This week, I talked to NHS seniors Nick Smith and Gretchen Savison about running for the track and field team. All right, so your relay team achieved All-American status in indoors. Uh, this past weekend, you set a meet record. How much fun is it to be a part of this group? It's kind of amazing where we've come from, considering my freshman year, really, uh, this is the first time being introduced to track, and then having this amount of success in my senior year is really gratifying. So you've had wins this season in sprints, in hurdles, and even in the long jump. Uh, is it ever challenging to stay successful in so many different events? <laughs> It's kind of difficult. I I mainly train as a runner. Like I do all the running workouts, and then um, like hurdles and long jump are kind of things I'll do more for fun after practice. Um, but I'm starting to take hurdles more seriously, so um, I've been devoting a lot more time to that recently. Uh, so your coach Brandon Palmer, he's been very popular since he's come to the high school. Uh, but how has he helped you personally develop uh, throughout your career at the high school? He's a like college level coach. He's got so much experience. He really knows what to do. He has, uh, I mean, he has the experience of winning the state title himself as an athlete. I just can't really give him enough praise. He's really helped me as an athlete, just all together. So you're going to continue your track career in college. You're going to Boston University next year. Uh, what did you like about that program? The whole group of the sprinters in particular, they were just really tight-knit. When I did my overnight there, they were all hanging out, like 20 of them in a dorm, They're watching like uh, Disney movies, They're watching The Incredibles. And so it kind of just got that kind of fun vibe and really enjoyed my time there. They seemed really cool. And I wanted to be a part of a group that was just really close to each other. And finally, uh, your, this is obviously your spring season of your senior year, so your high school track career is coming to a close. What are you going to miss most about being a part of this program? Um, definitely being a part of such like a wonderful group of people. Um, I think there's kind of like a special bond that forms when you're like running through like really hard workouts every day with um, people, and I'm going to miss them a lot. Um, I think I'm going to miss mostly uh, Seeing the, my teammates now develop, because we have a lot of uh, really talented guys right now, underclassmen, Ben Gordon Sniffin, Cole Valley, is they're really talented as is, and I'm going to miss uh, the opportunity of being teammates with them when they get even better. Hey, great. Thanks so much for being on Hamped Up. No problem. In other sports news, the baseball team is off to a 10-3 start, but the team suffered a tough loss against West Springfield on Wednesday as Terriers pitcher Nick Domkowski pitched a perfect game against the Blue Devils. The softball team is 12-2, and, and senior Zoe Driscoll Spar recorded the 100th hit of her career this past Tuesday in the team's win over East Longmeadow. The boys lacrosse team has lost four games in a row, but the team still remains in first place in their league. The girls lacrosse team is off to a great start, but the team remains in the bottom half of their league, which features a number of good teams. They will look to climb in the standings in the coming weeks. The boys tennis team is in the midst of a losing streak and will look to turn things around with a home match against Minichog this afternoon. The girls' tennis team, meanwhile, snapped a six-game losing streak on Monday with a dominant 4-1 win over Holyoke. Finally, the girls' ultimate frisbee team took third place in the Four Rivers tournament this past weekend, winning three out of their four games. They will be competing in the Amherst Invitational this weekend.